I know you're scared. Me too. I think I know a way we can get out of this house. The preacher is close. We gotta act fast. The heat from the furnace will only hide us for so long. Trust me, I'm gonna lead it towards the attic. No, we stay together. This will work. I'll be out right after you. What do you need me to do? When I run for the door, grab the wrench on the workbench and use it to smash the windows in the living room. And get out. Got it? Yep. Alex? Yeah? Don't die. Not today. You ready? Go. Another 50 cents. I was starting to wonder if you were ever gonna show up. Late night party I didn't know about. Yeah, you caught me. I only pretend to be this boring. At night I turn into an aimless party animal seeking out one loud idiot fest after the other. But don't tell anyone, all right? Wouldn't want people thinking I'm cool or something. They'd never leave me alone. <clears throat> yeah, you're cool. Are you saying I'm less than cool? Actually, I'm saying Alex McKenna doesn't seem like the type of guy that would bother to join in something so lame. I'll take that. Now, how about you tell me the real reason you're 20 minutes late? And lucky for you, Max isn't here yet. Did someone call my name? Uh, hey Max, I was just... You were just coming in late again. You know, you're a weird kid, McKenna, but I, uh, mildly like you. However, one more time you come in late, and it's gonna be your last. Got it? Oh, come on, Max. It's dead in here. And Alex has a very good reason for showing up late. Don't you, Alex? Not really. I overslept. It was an unusually loud night. Well, there you go. He's obviously not feeling well because he has a bad headache and he struggled to come into work. I gotta go to corporate today. The two of you keep busy, huh? And I mean it. No more late days. Huh? Why the hell didn't you make something up? He's gonna be on you now. I hate lying. Too many variables. Max is right. You are weird. But I like it. Well, good thing I know how to take a compliment. See? Weird. Here, I got that. Thank you, you're such a sweet young man. Here, let me help you. What's your name? Alex, what's yours? <laughs> you know, my grandma always said, you can call me anything, just don't call me late for dinner. You got it. Here, let me get the door for you. Thank you. I was wondering, 
Do you like the Halloween movies? Love them. Why? They're featuring the original at Floral Park Theater. I got two tickets to tomorrow's 11 a.m. show. My cousin was supposed to go with me, but she canceled this morning. School's canceled for staff development, which is why I bought them. I was one, I was thinking, if you don't have plans, you might want to go. If not, I'm going alone, and the ticket will be dust. Eleven? <laughs> yeah, why? Too early for the party animal? Not, no! Eleven is, uh, good. So you're in? Sure. Great. Do you want to meet there? Uh, no. Text me your address. I'll pick you up. Okay. And hey, Alex, you're not like an axe murderer or anything, right? I mean, I know we haven't been working together that long, but you're cool, right? Nobody's buried in my closet. Good to know. Hi, Alex. What you doing? I'm working. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you to stay home? What if someone sees me talking to you? They're going to think I'm loony. I know, but it's boring. I hate it when everybody leaves. Hi, uh, can I get a small black coffee to go, please? Uh, sure. So, uh, what's your name? Margaret. You know, you're too pretty to be in a place like this. You should probably be, like, modeling. I like working here. Whatever. So, that weird over there, your boyfriend? Y'all seem, uh, pretty tight. Here's your coffee, and he's not a weirdo. Oh, yeah? Well, then, who the hell's he talking to out there? Uh, he's an actor in our high school play. We're doing Alice in Wonderland. Ever seen it? Not exactly. Oh, well, I recommend. It's really good. I would say catch the matinee on Freddy, but you have to be under 18 to get the discount. And I'm thinking you're a little too mature for that. I'm not even that old. I'm like 24. It is if I'm 17. That'll be $2.50. Listen, Jacob, I'll be home in a couple of hours. Why don't you hang out in my room? Really? Sure. What's wrong, little man? I thought you liked playing in my room. I do, but I hate being divisible. I see you, and we're buds, right? Yeah, I guess. Guess nothing. You're my guy, little man. I mean, who else is going to follow me everywhere and not get caught? I mean, you sit in class with me. Yeah, I guess that's cool. See, there's fun stuff, too. I'll meet you back at the house. And hey, it's invisible. I don't know anyone who's been divisible. What you doing? Damn it, little guy, you gotta stop just popping in on a guy. Sorry. Going on a date with Margaret and I was checking to see if I need to shave. Don't see nothing, look smooth. That's what I was afraid of. What do you mean? Margaret doesn't know about me. That you see dead people? No, and I'm not even going there. The other thing? So what? She's nice and you're good, so that's it. I wish it were that easy. Damn, it's cold out here. You're so warm. Maybe I'll just stay close to you. You can. That was so much fun. I love seeing it on the big screen again. It's been a long time. You've seen in theaters before. Yeah, my dad took me about Eight or nine years ago, it was right after my parents got divorced. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's so long now that it doesn't bother me. What about your parents? Together. Minus me, though. They're more interested in traveling than spending time with their only child. Now I'm sorry. Heater. It's so cool that you have a car. I mean, it's my mom's car more than anything. Well, I have my license, but no one lets me drive. I don't have a car. You want to drive? Wait, for real. Yeah. Get on over. Okay. Do you want to go to that little park across from the church up ahead? 
I mean, we can sit in the car and talk a little, if you want. I think I'd like that. Now who's the quiet one? I love this place. Sometimes I come up here and just sit on one of the benches and chill. It's peaceful. Don't you think? I did it. I've done it myself. Listen, Alex. I could be completely off base, but I'm just going to go for it. I really like you. We have a blast together at work. We kind of like the same music. We're not into a zillion friends. We're kind of cut the same. Listen, Margaret, before you go any further, I gotta tell you something about me. You already said you're not an axe murderer, so what's to tell? It'd kind of defeat the purpose if I were to admit it to you. I'm guessing you'd probably not want a second date. Maybe I like toying with danger. Okay, truthfully, if you're gonna tell me you talk to yourself, I already know. You kind of do it a lot. Like yesterday, that creep standing at the counter and I saw you outside the coffee shop. It looked like a pretty intense one-on-one. -on -one. You being both ones. It's cool, though. You don't get it. How could you? Oh, crap. I misread you. You don't like me the same way. Damn. Stop. I'm That's so not it. Believe me, I want to fucking kiss you right now, but I can't. <laughs> what? Why? If you like me too, what's wrong? I don't understand. Where the hell are you going? Listen, Margaret, you're beautiful, smart, and even though I've only known you a few months, you're like my best friend. That's how I feel? That may not be enough. All my life I've read it this day, I want it. I really do, but my life's not that simple. Alex, just tell me. I, I can't, I don't want to ruin this. Now you're scaring me. What is it? Is it serious? Are you fucking dying? I'm not dying. Then tell me. I'm transgender, I'm transgender. All this time we worked together. Talked about things. You say this now. Uh, I mean, are you? Did you? No. Wait, so you're saying you're a- Stop. I'm saying that I was assigned female at birth, but inside I'm a guy. Always have been. I need to think. I don't know what to say. You lied? No. It's not a lie, it's who I am. I'm Alex, the same guy you had feelings for just a few minutes ago, it's me. I can't do this, I can't. I need to go home. Get in the car, I'll take you home. I can't be with you right now. Margaret, please get in the car. No, go away. I need to think. I'm not fucking leaving you here all upset and wandering around the neighborhood. Well, you don't have a choice. Yeah, I do. Follow you until I know you're home safe. Tell me how. How what? How you could just drop this on me. Why not say something in one of the million conversations we've had at work? It's literally been months. Not one time, one second where you could tell me. I don't know, Margaret. How do you see that going? Hi, I'm Alex, your friendly neighborhood trans guy. Want to go on a date? Not so easy to hear, right? Please, leave me alone. I will, once you're home. Margaret, please. Alex, this is... It's just a ride home. What time do your parents get home? I'm sorry I ran, but I just can't make sense of this in my head right now. Bye, Margaret. Breathe deep
Wilby, if that's you, go away. Your little brother went with Dad to the grocery store. So, did you have a good time with Margaret at the movies? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen? Ma, I don't want to talk. Hey. You know I'm here, right? I know. Just... Not now. Love you, kid. I love you, too. Morning, Alex. Are you okay? Not really, little man. Do you feel sick? You could say that. My mom used to put a warm cloth on my belly. I don't think a warm cloth can fix this. What do you mean? I told Margaret about me. She doesn't like you anymore? I don't know. Well, then she's stupid. Hey, language! Stupid's not a bad word. It's a hurtful word, and that makes it bad. I think she still likes you. I'm not so sure. This is too hard. What are you saying? This damn silence is deafening. Listen, thank you for not leaving me yesterday. I was really upset and not thinking. Walking home when it's like 20 degrees wouldn't have been fun. No problem. Fucking glass. I'm sorry for how I treated you. I should have listened and not ran. I'm sorry too. I should have said something sooner. It's really hard. Listen. You want to meet after work? We could go to that little bookshop up by the hill. We could talk. Is this a friend's thing or something else? I don't know. I told you she likes you. Your eyes were so wide, everything 